Hello and welcome back to another Craig and Dave Unscripted and the first one of 2024. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Dave. Yeah, Happy New Year, Craig. The <laughs> Christmas tree has gone away and That's the New it. Year's resolutions are broken already. It, well, yours might be. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going back to term for too much turkey and mulled wine. Right, so we thought we'd start the year with quite an exciting video for us. One of the biggest criticisms <laughs> Dave and I have received over eight years of this YouTube channel is that we're dull <laughs> we're boring we're dull now we've been through this before and we've covered it in other videos you know the videos are piecemeal educational videos they're bite-sized bits of learning and they're designed to learn a spec point um, from a given you know, exam board um, so to that extent they were never designed to be snazzy you know all these modern videos that you see but, but but we have heard you we have heard you and we've been thinking for a while how can we just inject a bit more life and excitement into the channel so Dave you, I think mm. you have a solution don't you well um yeah um yes our, our videos aren't supposed to be fun who said learning was supposed to be fun <laughs> but no you're absolutely right craig we, we've had this idea for years to just do something a little bit more energetic a little bit more upbeat a little bit that is yeah. something outside of the specification and we we gave it a go and that the bottom line is we are just old men so oh. what what we what we need is another Dave. Dave needs to Hi. be another Dave. Hello, other Dave. Meet other Dave. Hello. I will just say that although we heard, heard the feedback that it needs to be a bit more exciting, we did also hear the feedback that we didn't want any more hair involved in the, the person doing the video. So yes. I'm here. This is a follically <laughs> challenged company. It's not a requirement to be bald. It does seem to be a trend. <laughs> yeah. I was been thinking Dave. a lot. Dave's our new content creator. Isn't that exciting? A new yeah. family member, <laughs> the Craig and Dave family. Yes. Dave, who are you? Yeah, yeah, tell us. Tell us a bit about you. Who are you? You know, what, what's your background? And uh, yeah, what, why have you joined us on this journey? Yeah, well, my name's David Morgan. I've been uh, teaching computer science in secondary schools around the UK for the best part of 20 years. Um, I started in the depths of the valleys of Wales and, you know, clawed my way all the way down to Bristol, where I taught in di various different schools around uh, the Bristol region for a while, um, and then when I returned to be uh, to back to back to my home country of Wales, where my you know where the heart lies, and the, the land of song and all that, I felt the call of of Silicon Valley, and went to work for Replit for about eighteen months, where I did a lot of their learn content. We pushed out like a hundred days of code course, which has been taken by two hundred thousand people worldwide. So hello if you yeah. remember uh, me from there. Uh, but now I'm back in, in the UK doing educational stuff. And one of the things I really wanted to do was just educational content videos because I've been, uh, you know, I've been doing uh, videos about a specific product for 18 months. It's nice when I talk about the wider spec. It's nice when I talk about things that are actually happening in the industry and, and put a nice spin on it. So I'm coming on board to do some high energy content once a week where we talk about things that have been in the news or that are current or interesting and we talk about how they relate to the specification you've got to cover so we aim to deliver you content that can keep you entertained and give you that little, little bit more background detail on why the subject you're studying is the best subject in the world oh, without wow. argument this is this is awesome this is exactly what we wanted and the nice thing is as you've just said it you're not constrained to a particular exam board or the nuance of how a topic is slightly different at gcse on a level you can just branch mm -hmm. out a bit and you know uh, full disclosure for everyone dave has already recorded a few of these videos for us ahead of us recording this one so i've seen some of the content you know we've got we've got videos on on ai and how it's being implemented in in europe on, on, on cryptocurrency and bitcoin yeah these are some fun topics and i have no doubt that while some of these things aren't in the current specifications those two topics i've mentioned fascinating relevant topics but they're not in any spec again at the moment other than um, the igcse but you bet when the specs change they're going to be in there and regardless it's it's all fun content i'm a bit jealous that you're getting to make this stuff actually i've got a i've got a stick to the spec <laughs> and you've basically been given free reign to uh yeah make videos whenever you like as long as it's based around tech and computer cool. science 
I mean, I mean, the brief is beautiful from you guys to me, which is relevant content. And I mean, yeah, that, we did a video recently about um, AI, and AI is, has been my light for the last year, really. Oh, it, blimey, yeah. Such a revolution. Like, the software that you can create in an afternoon with an open AI API key and a, a code editor is just unbelievably different to what we could do 18 months ago. And you know, I've got, I, and you guys might be the same, but like computer science teachers often have this, a notebook full of ideas and dreams <laughs> that we think about during those days coming up to Christmas or those days coming up to the summer. And we never actually get around to building. Well, I'm taking some time with AI to look back through those ideas and go, actually, some of these are achievable now in a realistic time frame, and not gonna take me, you know, $3 million of angel yeah. investment just to get off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so all this stuff is fascinating, but I'm sure a lot of people in the audience actually have been dealing with AI, you know, things like uh, submitting essays that you've written with ChatGPT yeah. or, you know, teachers building lesson plans with it and, and streamlining, streamlining workflows. There's some fantastic and interesting things coming out of JCQ about how we should be using AI and, and encouraging us to use it in some areas and obviously discouraging it in others. Um, and some of the exam boards have got interesting sort of um, quickly written together policies that are that are interesting to look at and seeing how that will evolve. Um, so the exam boards are currently sort of scrambling. How do we deal with it as an entity that has to take work and check it's yours? When it comes into the spec, it will be after a period of time of them dealing with that. And I think that's going to be yeah. really fascinating for us all to talk about and, and write in exams. And Absolutely. they're talking about um, the possibility of a new qualification um, in digital literacy, they recognize that computer mm. science as a discipline which has an emphasis on how computers work in coding isn't fulfilling the other aspect of um, digital literacy. So they're talking mm. about inventing a new qualification. D dare I say we kind of had something like that before computer science. Well, what did they used to call that, Craig? I can't okay. remember. It's something to do with like the technology of communicating in IT or th something like that. And those T words are different order, maybe. T -I TCI, maybe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ICT. <laughs> Of course, it won't be called that. It'll be called something like uh, digital relevance in a modern world or something like that, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, I'll just say this. If I don't have to spend a third of my time teaching spreadsheets as part of it, I'll be very, very happy. If it's more relevant yeah, technologies, so. I'll be pleased. But you're right. I mean, we often, Craig and I often talk about the fact that, you know, technology is moving at an incredible pace and it, it feels like it's almost accelerating away from us you know, mm -hmm. like sort of dark energy. Um, but <laughs> but I, I guess really it's always been that way. I mean, Craig and I talk fondly about our childhood and how we got into computer science in those early days. And of course, things were pioneering then and they've been pioneering all the way through our careers. It's just that we've been stuck in teaching a body of knowledge, if you like, and, and haven't been on quite the same wave as a result of that. But it's just continually yeah, think, evolving all the right. time, isn't it? And and to be for you to be able to bring that to our audience instead of just videos that teach you what you need to know for exams, I think it's really exciting. And it's it's something completely different for our channel. And we're so grateful that you've decided to do it with us on our channel. Um, that you know, we're we're just really grateful for that. Oh no, it's it's an absolute pleasure, and like genuinely. Whenever I talk about why I love computer science so much, it's because I'm the biggest nerd in the world. I love chasing yeah. that bleeding edge, you know? I love being there. And it's it's interesting you say about teaching because, you know, I've been teaching for 20 years. It wasn't until I got back into, like, industry recently that I was like, oh, my skill set is a little rough and ready around the edges. I'm still, I'm still a PHP developer at heart, and, and, you know, and I'm looking at all this cool stuff in React.js, and I'm going... Oh, this is this is beautiful, and it's it's finding that time. I mean, as teachers, I'm sure our, our audience knows really well. As teachers, we spend a lot of time marking, refining knowledge we've already got to present it in better ways, and we lose, lose that time to really just be experimenting and playing on the on the fringes and the cutting edge. I hope to be able to bring those fringes and cutting edge to the classrooms, to your students, and and to you guys, so that we that's can. That's really great. It's getting that passion, isn't it? 
it's getting that mm-hmm. passion from the students because a lot of them are into it. Sorry to interrupt, but I just suddenly thought it, it's it's captivating that. And sometimes it's difficult when you have to make videos just on the uh, particular theory for an exam. So many topics on the top of my head. We've got metaverse, NFTs, all this stuff. You know, you know, AI. It's it's all this stuff is being talked about and is in the news. Yet it probably won't be in a spec until they're revised. And even then, we'll have to deliver it in a in a very theoretical way. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, slightly jealous, but also very, as Dave said, very, very grateful. I'm, I, I've, I've loved the three videos you've done for so far, and I can't wait to start putting mm-hmm. it out to the community. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to, um, yeah, the, the the new stuff you do. So, Dave, am I right in thinking you would not actually given Dave, it's going to get very confusing. Craig and Dave, Dave. another Dave, it's fine. Or another Dave, another Dave. <laughs> Dave, am I right in thinking you haven't given another Dave a, a list of particular topics? It's just as long as it's on tech, you know, fill your boots. Is that generally the brief? Yeah, absolutely. The, the brief is um, educational content that is upbeat and suitable for students between sort of 11 to 18 years old, but certainly 14 to 18 years old, um, things that would be interesting in the realm of computer science. And it it is as broad as that. So I've said to Dave, just keep an eye out on what's on the news, what's in the tech news, and anything that catches your eye, just make a video about it. Um, And that really uh, is the brief. And so, for example, um, I was reading yesterday in the tech news that Microsoft are close to being able to use glass as a storage medium. So at the moment, we're talking about solid state drives as a replacement of hard disk drives. And Microsoft are working on a new technology where they're actually using glass and ceramics. Now, I don't know much about that, but it's the kind of thing that when it catches Dave's eye, he'll do the little bit of research that's required and then bring it to the masses in a fun educational way. And what we've said is that unlike our videos where we tend to ramble on a little bit, particularly in these unscripted ones, we've said, look, five minutes, you know, we let's say what we've got to say in five minutes. Um, and if it needs to be more than that, then it would need to be a second video, really. But let's just try and keep an, the audience interest by limiting it to uh, to five minutes and then crucially at the end of those five minutes because they will be a bit more upbeat and they will be um, going at a fair pace that at the end there's just a very brief summary of the key things from the video so although it is a little bit more entertaining than the videos that we've done in the past it also has that educational element and so um, that they are there um, as would be in the spirit of Craig and Dave to help you learn something that perhaps you didn't know before. So it's about having a good time, but having a good time in an educational way. And um, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, Craig, is after we've released this video, we're going to then release um, the first episode and the second episode. So like any good TV series that comes out now, you get the first two or three episodes one after the other. Well, I'm um, getting the full Netflix we'll experience. I love it. For the next one. <laughs> oh, I love that. So the plan will be to, be able to release these sort of once a week. And I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, unlike our theory videos, which we deliberately turn the comments off, but we're going to enable the comments on these to engage in sort of discussion and stuff. We want to hit, yeah, hit another day saying, yes, yeah, brilliant. So, you know, we, we do do that on unscripted videos. And on on the whole, uh, the feedback and the interaction from you guys watching is, is, is brilliant. Again, keep it appropriate. Otherwise, we'll just remove them, disable them. But I think we, we want to get that conversation going and uh well this is exciting have you got anything else you want to sort of um add another dave (laughs) i will just say the way i like to think about this is when you're delivering a a, you know when a topic's being delivered and you it's those little anecdotes those little cool bits of information you slot in between the key points i like to think of it as expanding on that and just giving that information about why should i care why is it relevant why are these things interesting why am i studying binary to hexadecimal conversion well because and and it's it's the why it's the why you're studying it that we're really i think treading very heavily on and also it gives me a chance to be a proper nerd for five minutes a week (laughs) nerds are going to rule the world it's the it's the new call (laughs) but you're right we focus on the what in our videos you can focus on the why and Mm -hmm. i think the two things then complement each other really well um on the channel i think the final thing that i'll say before we sort of end this episode 
is that you also might have noticed, audience, that Dave's video quality is significantly better than ours, which is actually causing a little bit of stutter on this stream as he uh, sort of records in 4K <laughs> and we don't. But um, yeah, higher quality videos um, as well from Dave because he's using some decent equipment. So there we go. You've, you've got to get 4K pixels looking at this head. I mean, there's a lot of forehead to display on the screen. So the best quality, the better, I think. I, I'm thinking the run length encoding algorithm or something would be ideal for that, Dave, because all the pixels <laughs> are the same color. So in yeah, yeah, this, this is how JPEG, JPEG compression works, folks. Area filled yes. with white, sorted. Right, and on that note, everyone, because I feel like we're wrapping up there, <laughs> thank you ever so much to Dave Morgan. Thank you for joining uh, our, our family. I, I know you're sought after and you've got lots of projects on the go, but thank you for giving us some of your time. That, that's brilliant. And uh, yeah, we'll be releasing the first two videos very shortly and then hopefully, say, one a week. So I'm looking forward to watching them. Hope you guys are too. Uh, until uh, next week on Unscripted, take care for now. Bye-bye, everyone.